Well, here we are still on the island of Rügen in Germany along the Baltic Sea. And we are at a Neolithic site that we've never been to before and it's called a Long Barrow. actually the earliest type of megalithic tombs. They are large rectangular rock structures that are in the shape of a longhouse. Now in the early days of the Neolithic people lived in these giant wooden structures called longhouses and they held uh, multiple families. It's believed that over time as those original structures started to decay people started coming to the site as sort of a memorial and they started uh, placing things like offerings into the original wooden post holes of the structures and people think that that's why then they started memorializing those places in stone to make them more permanent reminder of their ancestors and how much they owed their ancestors. Okay so I'm standing in the center of the long barrow and I'm going to pan around in a circle so you can kind of see what it looks like. In the center here we have the burial chamber and then out in front here um, on the right and the left you see those big guide stones and now as we come around there's this line of stones here and then they come around the other side. So it's quite a large site compared to these dolmens that I've been showing you. So the Long Barrow typically has a pair of very large guard stones at the beginning. There's this one here, and then over on the other side is the one with the deep incision in it, which is interesting. I've never seen one like that before. And this deep carving in this stone is from when the stones were originally placed here. And there's also, it's hard to see, but you see how there's a line there. The stone is actually buried deeper into the ground. And when it was new, that bottom line was much further off the ground than it is now. It's sunk quite a bit. So the site is laid out in a rectangle with stones surrounding it. And then in the center, you have the burial chamber, which is just sort of a typical dolmen. The long barrows are the earliest type of megalithic grave, and so they went from long barrows to dolmens to passage graves, and then they started uh, doing single burials again once the funnel beaker culture declined and the corded ware culture arose. And the single graves were not marked with stone? Well, they were. They're stone. They're stone tombs. It's just they were only big enough for one person. And they find them when they are like are digging up for a road. Like I've seen a picture of one they found somewhere in Germany. And he's, it's basically just, it's kind of like a small dolmen. It's really just person sized. And then there would just be a cap on it. So kind of like the precursor to the modern grave. Yeah, kind of like when you see those old churches that will have outside those like crypts that are raised, you know, like in Williamsburg at the churchyard. Um, they have these like, you know, raised graves that have a big stone on top, sort of similar.
Now, even though they only built monuments like this for about 500 years in this area, uh, people continue to use these sites for burials and other purposes for thousands of years. We find artifacts from the Iron Age, from the eras of the Slavic tribes. And so people continue to use these sites, even if they didn't know who built them or what they were for, people still found ways to incorporate them into their lives. Well, I hope you enjoyed this visit to this long barrow in Germany. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Tschüss!